I'm Zachary Barnes for Impact 89 FM. Michigan State is coming off a 70-62 victory over the Michigan Wolverines Sunday at the Breslin Center. It's one thing to beat those in-state rivals, but Michigan State is feeling a little extra sense of relief after snapping a three-game losing streak in all of a sudden what felt like a must-win game for the Spartans. It's different, Tom Izzo said after the game, commenting on having three freshmen as leading scorers, and he could only imagine how they were feeling before their first rivalry game. But they capitalized. You know, we sustained a little bit better for a game. You know, we did a pretty good job on a turnover, not giving up six or eight points. We gave up three a couple times. They made some good shots. But we did a pretty good job of that. Now we'll see if we can do that to the next game, if we can carry it over to the next game. Other than the freshman frenzy, good defense helped stop the Wolverines, who came into today's game 35th in the nation in shooting. Alvin Ellis and Aaron Harris helped keep Zach Irvin, a sick Zach Irvin, to zero points. And Nick Ward and Miles Bridges kept the perimeter playing 6'10 DJ Wilson to 4 of 12 shooting. Josh Langford, like his coach Tom Izzo, said after the game that he likes how his team was able to sustain for 40 minutes on both sides of the ball. I just think we sustained, um, you know, we had a sense of urgency for 40 minutes. Uh, we, locked, we locked in for 40 minutes, something that, you know, we weren't doing a good job of in, in, you know, in the past games. Um, you can see some of the games that we had, we kind of we did it for 35 minutes, we did it for 20 minutes, but tonight we did it for 40 minutes, just everybody was dialing them for. Now, despite the victory, two of Michigan State's most nagging issues continued today. They allowed 14 offensive rebounds and 17 second chance points. On top of that, they allowed the Wolverines to outshoot them 56 to 46. With that little number of shots, you're not getting enough reps and you're not establishing an offensive rhythm. Now, despite the so slow play, both Winston, who did a phenomenal job getting to the rack today, and Langford want to increase their pace of play. Court. Oh, we definitely want to push it, you know, transition, you know, get early posted. You know, I think hit, I hit Nick for early post a couple times where he just, he's down there by himself, you know, and he's, he's hard to check when he gets one-on-one. -on -one. So if we get the ball up and down, keep it keep it moving up and down, we'll be a better team. Well, we want to play in transition because this is what Michigan State is known for. That's what Michigan State staples, defend, rebound, and run. And so, you know, we want to get out on the break as much as possible. But they kind of they kind of was playing the break, um, not really going to offensive rebound too much. Mm -hmm. um, but... You know, I feel like we did a great job tonight. Michigan State will look to keep things rolling against an up-and-down Nebraska team in Lincoln on Thursday. For Impact 89 FM, I'm Zachary Barnes.